channel. What are we doing today? Well, you got a head start, got the body off the jig table. Yeah, so. That fork looks loud. Old faithful. Yeah, you know, she's uh she does not like to run when it's cold, so we usually get her started up first thing. We're gonna use her at all that day. But yeah, uh unbolted the eight different body mounts that are on the the body ahead, jig here. Go ahead and get him dizzy. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I'm sure, huh? No, this is a GoPro, it self-balances. So we brought it up out of the air. We are going to grab the painting frame, throw it on the rotisserie, bring that in here, throw the body on that, uh, go through, do a couple other little touch-up things you want to do, some disassembly, and seam seal today. So, I guess uh, time for us to get at it. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, guys, quick update. Got this thing on the rotisserie. Got it rotated. I think Chris blew it off with the blower. Yeah. I was taking my... And then it got rained on. Yeah, we got rained on. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't see that coming in. I don't think... Did you have a time lapse going? I no. don't even know. No, I would say it's over there turned off still. Um. Anyways, this is where we're at. We got some touch-ups to do. Little pinhole. Um, welds that we got to touch up. Little areas that we miss grinding. But yeah, just just the last once over type deal. Uh, you know, some of the areas you saw us welding on yesterday. Uh, a couple things on the bottom that kind of hard to see before. Just just like he said, just run through it real quick and make sure some of those areas are really good. We are going to be painting top, bottom, inside every crevice our color. Um, so pros and cons for that the pros are we're not going to have to tape off anything like tape off up here or anything like that to be able to do the the bed liner uh the cons of that though is it doesn't cover as well as a bed liner the bed liner is going to make all this perfect but we are putting in carpet so yep. we're going to do it all one color um I, honestly paint is really nice because you can just hit with the pressure washer and it cleans off so uh, the bed liner stuff, it does, the dirt does stick to it a little bit more and it's harder to really make it just clean again. So yeah, it's time for us to get at it. God, you do that every time because you say so many th all right it's a wrap <laughs> <laughs> you say so much stuff that's not youtube friendly right before you turn the camera on well i get upset because we have to work, turn the music down that we're listening to in the background so we don't get in trouble with the copyright stuff so i'm gonna replace it with the music that you guys hear during the time yeah i'm like we'd rather just hear some nice music and the yee yee <laughs> <laughs> but right. anyways we got everything welded up 
all the little pinholes ground down there's some still little 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 things that we need to do but the plan tomorrow is to get it sand down top and bottom da yeah hit it with the da and then uh get the seam sealer put on and hopefully well, we'll see epoxy primer epoxy primer so um the goal is to have this thing in the paint booth friday just a tub and then Monday we'll finish up all the, the doors, hood, all the little external pieces, body parts. But we'll see, you know, I'm in a rush, but I'm not in a rush. Cause this is one thing that you guys all know, you don't want to rush. Yeah, you can't, you can't rush the paint, but you also can't sit there and worry about <laughs> so much you never get it done. Yep. So you just still got to push forward. Like, what will we do tomorrow? What will we do the next day? That way you're actually ready to go on it. Uh, Cause it's very easy to be scared of the paint and just not do it <laughs> yep. work on other things and procrastinate so you can see obviously from the start to today and the end of today it looks nothing the same. <laughs> nothing looks like it got done but you guys saw in the time lapse you're grinding welding grinding welding bending stretching Attention typical typical body stuff that we're always doing the transmission should be here either end of this week beginning of next week yep we have the seal kit for the transfer case so we'll get those thrown into the chassis over there which we're actually painting them right yeah we're gonna get those painted as well and once that happens we're ready for the body yeah to go on to the roller so we're not gonna worry about finishing any of the brake lines fuel lines um, obviously no electrical none of that until the body is actually on it we're not talking doors tailgates fenders all that but we're probably gonna get this thing running pretty quickly uh, we just have to get all that stuff put in there, but I guess that's all we have for today And then yeah. tomorrow you guys get to be bored to death while we say we sand it and then Maybe we paint it. Or yeah, epoxy, epoxy primer. primer. Yep, but all right guys We will see you guys in the next video